drugs that dissolve the thrombus. That's what we're going to talk about right now. And these actually break the clot down, clot-busting drugs. So you'll hear them called thrombolytics. Uh, Altoplace, TPA, uh, Retoplace, Retavase, uh, Tenecteplase, TNKase. These are the newer thrombolytics. The older thrombolytics were streptokinase and urokinase. Maybe you'll hear them called fibrinolytics as in to break down fibrin. These are called fibrin specific. Now, fibrin specific thrombolytics. Fibrin specific fibrinolytics. Altoplace, retivase, and tenecteplase. All right, so fibrin and platelets are the two main components of the blood clot. The fibrin were the strands that held the blood clot together, and platelets were an essential part of the blood clot. When fibrin forms, something that sticks to the fibrin is a natural occurring process to break this down when the body's ready, something called plasminogen. So the plasminogen stick to the fibrins. Well, tissue plasminogen activator is a natural occurring substance in the body. It's a naturally occurring factor in the body, and when it activates the plasminogens, the plasminogens, they become plasmin, and plasmin will dissolve the fibrin and cause the platelets to deaggregate, so the clot can be dissolved. So the clot is dissolved by something called plasmin, and TPA is tissue plasminogen activator. It converts the plasminogen into the plasmin, so the clot can be dissolved. These agents are called fibrin-specific because they only activate plasminogens that are attached to the fibrin. Streptokinase and urokinase are the original thrombolytics. But they're nonspecific because they're going to activate plasminogens that are floating in the plasma. So because streptokinase is isolated from a bacteria, it has a much higher rate of allergic reaction than TPA.